There's not a better scene in college baseball than Duty Noble Field with the sun out. Going to be a little different weather scenario than we had it last night in those 17 innings of work. So the first pitch on the way to Schultz. It's, it's pretty crazy. Lifted in the air. Off the bat of Rhodes. That will bounce around the corner. Rhodes on his way to second. And he'll get in there with a double. Second hit of the game for Kentucky. Uh-oh. Out to center field. Rowdy Jordan to the wall. Elwood is out of here. T.J. Collette with his ninth home run of the year. That'll give the Wildcats a 2-0 lead. Well, we talked about it his first time up, Dave. This, this one has one of the fields where you feel like a big bopper is going to have to do the damage. Hey, and this is the kind of light tower power. Hey everyone, Wheels here. I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button because over 80% of you watching right now are not subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks, Peter. Rowdy Jordan will start things off with a base hit. It would start away and come back, right? Just had a different look to a righty than a lefty. Two hits in the inning now for the Bulldogs. Scooped at third by Church across the diamond. Well done defensively by Kentucky. Played nicely there by Forsyth. He'll step on the bag. And Will Bednar gets out of what could have been a jam. Maybe we can flip the script here. Well, he just missed on the 2-0, but then missed badly on. Lifted high in the air to left. He didn't see it. Cam Hill completely lost it. Boy, you saw Ritter kind of helping him out, trying to point, but I don't know how much that's going to help you. And that just. Ground ball through the right side. Here's the throw home. It is safe at the plate. Skinner flew through the air like Superman and touched the plate to beat the throw. Tanner Allen definitely was looking in. He gets a fastball in and pulls it in the four hole. And yeah, Skinner gets past it. The hand hits the plate. I'm shocked that Kyle Cheeseboro, the third base coach, sent him right there because with nobody out, you talk about taking the life out of the building. If he gets thrown out right here, but look at the athleticism by Skinner. He changes directions at the last second and then leaps through the air to miss the... Elevates something to the outfield. Got it to the outfield. Cam Hill camps out. And the tag. And Rowdy Jordan ties this game up at two on the sacrifice fly off the bat of Luke Hancock. That'll be his 26th run batted in of the season. Out to short, a little underhand toss. Cats get out of it. A few things going on there. Maybe it's throw at 96 <laughs> right by him. Cole Stupp working into the eighth inning. First pitch from Jordan as a base hit to start the eighth. And Tanner Allen has hit for the second time. They've been pitching him inside all night, and that one caught him on the hip. And that one gets away, and everybody will move up. Second and third now, and Rowdy Jordan just 90 feet away from. Popped him up. Will it stay in play? Looks like it will for Colette, and he oh, will make the. Nice catch with his back to the infield. Luke Hancock, first pitch he sees, elevates one out to right field. This should be good enough to get Jordan home from third. He will tag up. Here comes the throw. It is not in time, and the Bulldogs have taken the lead. Caps one to second. He step over to first. But the Bulldogs get one. That one is past the third baseman, Cameron James.
Collette will round first, put the brakes on, and get back in a hurry. And starts the ninth off in fine fashion for the Wildcat. They'll go to first with it. Sims' throw is on the money. So Lewis does his job with the sacrifice. Popped him up. Nobody wants it. Hatcher gives way. They all give way and it drops. Oh, my goodness. Look where the ball is. Scotty DeBrule never went towards the ball. Second now. Ground ball back to Sims. They'll try to turn two and end it right here, and they do. Hit his team leading ninth home run of the game yesterday to give Kentucky a 2-0 lead. And underway here in Starkville. His arms. Runner going, the pitch swinging to miss, and a throw down, and he is out. Strike him out, throw him out, double play, and that will end the top of the first inning. For Mississippi State. Came at him, and on the 3-1 pitch, sent into center field. Should be an easy play out there for Schultz, and he lost it in the sun. Rowdy Jordan just keeps on running. Boy, it is a tough sun field in center field right now. When you saw that on the fly ball with Tanner Allen early in the ball game to right field. And that ball hit it to right field. Should be deep enough to get the run home. Rhodes is back, and he fights off the sun, makes the catch, and comes in to score. And State has a 1-0 lead on the sacrifice fly by Tanner Allen. Got that one off the end of the bat. Long run, and as a shortstop, Forsyth can't find it, and it lands in fair territory. Second inning. Ground ball headed to center field, and that should tie up the ball game. Anu comes around to score, and a two-out RBI single from Chase Estep. And we are tied at one. So the sun giveth, the sun taketh away. Went right back up the middle. Bulldogs, he seemed to, or rather Leggett, played way towards the first base bag that time. And so it leaves it open up the middle. And he step delivers. 3-2 runner going right off the end of the bat, out to the second baseman. Leggett's got it, flips it in time for the out, and that'll end the inning. Right. There's a shot. Up jump the boogie out of the yard for a ways, Luke Hancock. Hancock came into this ball game with four RBIs on the weekend without a hit. That time he adds an RBI and a hit to the ledger. He got all of that one. Boy, Hancock didn't waste any time. Right down the pipe. Didn't you say the guy has a great night just flying out, but that's what he did. High on the infield, who gets this one? Third baseman drifting back, and that one's going to fall in and a pop fly double. Charlie, I don't think I've seen. Ground ball headed to left field. That'll drive the run home. So Forsyth. Pulls one through the six hole on the left side. Logan Tanner comes in to score. And State leads three to one. Now, yeah, nice job by Forsyth. Just powers the ground ball. In the left field, Bulldogs get the run home, and that's a big run to add here early in this ball game. Chop left side, underhand toss, and that will end the inning. So State gets a pair in the second inning. Left. Down the right field line, down by the plaza, and that's gone. Logan Tanner pokes one down the line. Gets it inside the pesky pole, and the dogs have a 4-1 lead. Now the wind was helping the left, but Tanner put that one out to right. He found the cutout down the line. Bulldogs get another home run, another, another run on the board. Second home run of the day, second one leading off an inning. The first by Hancock, this time 
Logan Tanner just reaching out and poking one the other way. SEC guys there. That's going to split the outfielders and go all the way to the wall to right center field. Rowdy going to pick it up in a hurry. They're going to run around the runner from third. He'll come around and score as Cam Hill with that two out walk comes around and scores on the double by Austin Schultz and makes it a 4-2 game. Goes back to something you mentioned, Barton, that is the trouble with two out walks. But look at that swing by Schultz. Just nice, compact, and stays behind the baseball and drives it. Splits the outfielders. There they go, and here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. And a big strikeout for Fristo to get out of the fifth. Ground ball pull through the six hole and into left field. Lead off single by Schultz. That's his second hit today. He's two for three. This one was an intentional walk. Pulls that one just inside the bag. Karam's off the right field bullpen. It'll be a single and the runner going to take third. Kentucky down by two. Got a little something going. Well, throw to first. They got him hung out. The throw down to second. They got the out. The run will come in to score. And it's four to three. Throw. Into left field. Could it drop? No. And they got Hancock hung out to dry. This dropped, and he stopped running. He didn't go back to second base. The second baseman drops it. One-two pitch. Breaking ball. Pull to the third baseman. Leggett has it come up and go off his chest. And Leggett, who is the defensive replacement over third, he moved from second to third. And, an, and here's a three-two. Fastball outside, and the game stays alive with a two-out walk. 0-2. Breaking ball down and blocked up. Did he go around? Yes, he did. And that'll end it. Cam Hill goes around on a breaking ball down, and State sweeps the series with Kentucky as the Dogs hold on 4-3 over the Wildcats.